Aristotle once said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence is therefore not an act, but a habit. I think what this really means is that excellence or success is not something you can do overnight, but rather instead a series of small incremental changes and consistent actions, and that's what we call habits. When we strive for success, being productive is very important because it gets us closer to our goals, whether it's personal or professional. When we are productive, we feel motivated. We feel like we're going in the right direction and it boosts our confidence and self-esteem which will translate into growth. That's why when our progress is hindered, we feel frustrated, down, and even upset. But have you ever stopped for a moment and wondered that maybe what's destroying your productivity isn't some external factor, but instead your behaviors? Sometimes we don't realize that we have some self-sabotaging habits that make us less productive than we initially planned. By taking steps back and knowing what these habits are will enable us to see considerable changes in our growth and development. That is why in today's video, we're gonna break down the habits that destroy your progress one by one. Hi there, I'm Munif. I'm here to empower you so that you can obtain your financial and personal development goals. If you like the type of content that I'm giving you, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more content just like this. Number one, the lack of routine. Do you find yourself answering calls in the middle of your vacation? Or you can't help but check your emails while watching your favorite movie? If so, you probably have blurred the boundary between work and rest and suffering due to a lack of healthy and proper routine. This is particularly true for people who are working from home. When you have an unclear line between work and rest, you are prone to doing half-hearted work, which will hinder, if not destroy, your progress in the long run. You need to establish a healthy routine and stick to it to solve this. If you're working at home, set up a workstation where you can focus solely on work and remind yourself that outside of that space is a place to relax and rest and recover. Number two is staying up late and not having enough sleep. Sleep directly impacts our focus and concentration and there are a lot and there are already various studies to prove that but despite knowing this but there are times that we can't help but stay up too late either binging on your favorite tv or movie series finishing up on some urgent task this is okay once in a while but if it becomes a habit we keep repeating it a few times a week it'll mess our brain up the following day it is guaranteed to kill our progress and when we work we need all the energy we can get from a restful sleep to be productive so next time you plan to pull an all-nighter think again because it will affect your productivity, concentration, and focus. Number three is writing over complicated and lengthy to-do lists. Keeping your to-do list is a great way to measure your progress and keep us on track, but having an over complicated and lengthy to-do list might just have the opposite effect. When you check your to-do list and see 20 or 50 items, all of them to be done in one day, instead of aiding your productivity, it will overwhelm you and hinders your progress. So make a simple, realistic, straightforward to-do list. For instance, having no more than three to five major daily tasks, that will be much more effective. For me, sometimes I only put one thing on the list. I shoot for the most important thing that I can do to focus my time and energy on, and then I focus on that one thing. Number four is procrastination. Procrastination is the number one enemy for a lot of people striving for success. When we try to delay doing an important task until the very end, more often or not, it might result in not only half-hearted work, but worse, failure. This is because we tend to rush things at the end, and even if you finish the task, it was not done in your best condition and frame of mind. So the result would not be ideal and you risk doing it all over again. Sometimes you procrastinate because you fear criticism or failure or lack of enthusiasm towards the work itself. To counter this, you need to have a proper routine and plan your day. But remember, number three, make your plans and your to-do list as simple as possible. There is a great amount of elegance and simplicity. Number five is a lack of overall discipline. We're all guilty of having some days that we don't feel like doing work or doing anything for that matter and then that's normal. No person on planet Earth can maintain their motivation all the time 24-7, 365. However, some people can still work despite lacking motivation and self-discipline keeps them going. That's why I personally feel sometimes that motivation just sucks because it goes up and down as your ebb and flow and personality change. That is what distinguishes individuals who advance in life considerably faster than others. 
temper your self-discipline and you'll see progress you never seen before. Number six is not managing stress. Stress is inevitable. It's part of life. Now, we're not being chased by saber-toothed tigers and lions and all of that majority of the time in the, in the world we live in, but it is something that we can't avoid, especially during work. We are constantly exposed to challenging circumstances that would stress us out and we continue to live in stress. It's not like being chased by a tiger or a lion and after the chase, it's over. But work, it just continues to be with us. So sometimes we get so used to it that if we just let it be, it can become dangerous. You know when you're stressed out, you're not doing anything to relieve it. You're too busy at work and you keep making excuses that you don't have enough time for other things, but you don't realize because you're too stressed out. You're not making progress because you're burning out. You keep making the same mistakes repeatedly. And that's why managing your stress is also an essential part of making progress. So develop a habit where you can relieve some tension, going for a walk, meditating, yoga, music, sports, even just a simple little walk all throughout the day. I take three walks in a particular day and I find that my stress level when I walk is a lot lower because it allows me to get away from whatever environment is stressing me out and I can just think. Anything that keeps your mind out of work for even a few minutes is going to help you. Number seven is your addiction and my addiction to technology. Did you know that 45% of tech users between the ages of 18 to 22 and 35% of the ones aged 39 to 54, the category I belong to, admit to technology addiction. Technologies are supposed to make our life more convenient. We get used to apps that help us organize our schedules and use different social media platforms to connect with family and friends. But sometimes these lines between normal usage and obsession become too thin and you don't realize the technology is actually taking over your life, not making it easier, but harder. For instance, at work, you have your momentum and you're making steady progress in your task. Then suddenly, your phone rings or chimes or notifies you that a new post from a celebrity that you've been following is up. You told yourself that you'll check it for a minute, but then you get absorbed and you spend more and more time on it. When you're done and ready to go back to work, you've already forgotten where you had stopped and what you need to do next, completely killing your flow. You lose momentum and focus. So if you're one of those people who are addicted to technology, it is better to stop it completely. Turn your notifications off. Better yet, hide your phone somewhere you can't see it while working. I noticed that when I got up in the morning, I started to look at YouTube, for example, and I would get lost in that. And so I just stopped doing that, put my phone down, and now before I have some time to myself and walk and work out, I don't touch the phone. Number eight is multitasking. You might think multitasking is good. It makes you feel more diligent, like you're accomplishing something. But in truth, what you are doing is juggling multiple tasks at once and not finishing one. Did you know that your brain cannot successfully do several tasks simultaneously? Your brain is designed to focus on one thing. And the reason for that is just survival itself. But multitasking slows your progress because it reduces your efficiency and affects the quality of your work. So instead, you can group similar tasks and finish them one at a time before moving on to the next. What I want you to take away from all this is success is a different meaning for a lot of different people. Everybody is different. It could be that you want a great career or you want a loving family or you want a comfortable home or you want a million dollar net worth. But to achieve them, you must put some effort in and be consistently seeking progress. But sometimes we're too preoccupied and when that is what is happening around us, we forget to look at ourselves. Remember that every journey toward betterment always starts from within. And from those small incremental changes, with consistent changes and effort, we can make the differences that count. Thank you for watching this. And if you found this video valuable, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. If you want to know more about being productive by boosting your alertness and focus, please check out this video next, how to boost your alertness and focus during the day.